may have heard Volvo's on this quest where they want to have nobody die in a Volvo by the year 2020 and have about a third of all their cars be AVs in terms of sales by the year 2025. That's going to require some very advanced LiDAR. Now we recently showed you LiDAR that uses this rotating head with lots of lasers pointing out and lots of emitters getting the reflection back from all those lasers. But here's another way of doing it. Here's an image from something called a Luminar LiDAR. A Luminar is doing things a little differently. Instead of having all these emitters and all these eyes looking out there and this rotating thing, they basically got that. A much simpler device that has a single laser pointing out and basically one single simple receptor, indium gallium arsenide, I'm told. That's used in a single point emitter detector pair that instead of spinning many of those, changes the aim of one and takes snapshots millions of times per second to build an elaborate image. That makes for a more compact, non-spinning LiDAR unit. It also works emitting an unusual wavelength of laser light, 1550 nanometers versus the lower spectrum 905 nanometers. What that means is they can bump up the output power to see further out in the dark yet without being hazardous to the retinas of eyes, as such long-reaching power would be if you use 905 nanometer. Now, once you get some great LiDAR data, I mean, you see me right here, you gotta do something with it. A dot map like this doesn't help decisions unless you can make some analysis of what you're seeing. Notice my arms, notice my legs. These tell you what I'm doing. So that's where Volvo works on some new AI technology that is going to use the information to not just detect objects, but they say detect intent of those objects. In other words, they can look at a pedestrian far out there, make out that it is a pedestrian, but also use body position and limb position to figure out what that person's doing and what they might do next. This is key data for a car that's out there on its own, relying on its sensors, trying to always do the right thing. Now this technology is not coming to a production Volvo immediately. Like autonomous vehicles in general, it's a few years down the road. But what I'm waiting to see is not just its performance, but also its price and packaging. The auto industry wants LiDAR to come down from its current price of several thousand dollars a unit down to a few hundred dollars a unit. It also wants LiDAR to go away, because right now we find a LiDAR unit on a self-driving car novel and amusing. That'll get old really fast. That stuff needs to disappear into the bodywork of cars and not interrupt the stylist's craft. We'll see how all this shapes up when it does hit production.